Hello students and welcome to another lesson presented by the Learning Depot. I'm Lulu Shaw and in today's lesson we will learn about irregular comparatives and superlatives. We learned in a previous video that most adjectives and adverbs have three degrees of form when used to compare two or more things, that is the comparative and the superlative. Most comparatives and superlatives are done by adding ER or EST or using the adverbs more or most. But there are cases where this is not so. There are some modifiers that don't follow the rules and are considered irregular. We are going to learn about these today. In a previous video, we learned about degrees of modifiers from the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. And we learned that most modifiers change degrees or form by adding ER or EST, or sometimes just adding the adverb more or most. But today we're going to look at comparative and superlative modifiers that do not follow the inflection rules. You do not add ER to make a comparative and you do not add EST to make the superlative. You do not add the adverb more, you do not add the adverb most. They totally change form. Let's take a look at some of these. Let's look at the word bad. The comparative for bad is not badder. Neither is a superlative baddest, although you may hear that in informal speech. But the comparative for bad is worse. And the superlative is worst or the worst. Let's look at ill. Ill means to be sick. The comparative for ill is not iller. It is worse, just like for bad. And the superlative is also worst. Let's go on to the modifier good. When something is good, that's in the positive state. But if something is more good, we would say it is better, not gooder. And if something good is of the highest degree, we would say it is best. So the degrees for the word good are better and best. Let's go on to well. Well, like ill, has to do with your health or your overall well-being. The comparative for well is not weller, it is better. And the superlative for well is best. Well, better, best. Let's go on to the modifier far, because the modifier far has two meanings. Let's look at the first meaning of far, meaning literal distance. For literal distance, you have far, farther, and farthest. But when you say far, meaning to the extent or degree of something, you will use further as a comparative and furthest as a superlative. Far, further, furthest. It doesn't mean the same as far, farther, farthest, which has to do with distance. Let's look at the word less. The comparative for less is lesser. Here it follows the pattern. But the superlative is not lessest, it is least. Less, lesser, least. Let's go on to little. And this meaning doesn't have to do with size, it has to do with amount, a little amount. The comparative would not be more little or littler, it would be less. And the superlative is least. Little, less, least. Let's go to the word late. In this meaning, it doesn't mean late, like you came late in terms of time. It has to do with order. So the comparative for late, meaning order, is ladder. And the superlative is last. Late, ladder, and last. Let's go on to the next one, many. When we use the modifier many, we we'll use it for countable things, for things that we can count. So we would say many, and the comparative is more, and the superlative is most. Many, more, and most. You can see here that we are using the basic adverb more for the comparative and the basic adverb most for the superlative. The same thing happens for the modifier much. Much and many are related, except much is used for uncountable things. The comparative for much is more, and the superlative for much is most. So you have much, more, and most. 
And last example, let's go on to the word old. The word old could have two applications. We can use old referring to people or things. So in this case, the comparative would be older, and the superlative would be oldest. However, if you are using old to refer to people only, the comparative is elder, and the superlative is eldest. Old, elder, eldest. To summarize, in today's lesson, we learned that most adjectives and adverbs have three degrees of form when used to compare two or more things, the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. The comparative and the superlative are usually formed by adding ER and EST or using the adverb more or most. But remember that this is not always the case. Many of these modifiers are irregular and you just simply must remember which ones they are. If unsure, you must check. Make sure to go back to review the parts of the video that you did not understand. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments section below and I'll be sure to answer it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will know every time I upload a new video. And please like and share so that others may know about my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.